Hello friends, uh, another update from Iceland. Here you see the site of the eruption exactly where it is located. It is situated 7 kilometers away from the city. But the area is kind of flat all around, so the lava will spread faster than it was the case in case of Kelingadal or in Fagadalsfjand, because there we had big valleys which could hold the lava. Uh, Smeradalir Valley, which took enormous amounts of lava. Here uh, we have a pretty flat terrain, and we can suspect lava going along this uh, old lava flow towards um, the east of Grindavik. That's where uh, lava is most likely to flow towards the ocean, and it's going probably to destroy the south coastal highway sooner or later. Um, it might also reach the city pretty soon, Grindavik. It can also spill over uh, here and towards uh, geothermal power plant. They built some uh, protection walls in this area, so uh, we need to take a better look at this later. But currently you see it's happening right north of Hangafet Mountain. Along this tectonic um, uh, fault, this uh, volcanic fault from a few thousand years ago, which generated uh, the eruption of, of Sunnuka Gigar, Sunnuka craters. Gigar means craters, and that's where it's happening right now. So the best viewing point is Silinga Fat Mountain. Live cameras which are located right on this mountain called Silinga Fat. Um, Silingur is a trout uh, uh, in Icelandic. Uh, so this is uh, watch this camera Silinga Fat uh, live cam which has the best uh, panoramic view uh, from of this volcanic eruption. Now another update: all the roads to the city are closed. You can't access it. They have even closed the airport highway. You see, I sought to drive um, um, at least to the closing point here on Grindavik Road, but you can't even drive there, you can't even drive towards the airport out of the city of Reykjavik, but it's probably visible somewhere close from from Reykjavik too, it's visible from the city center, even red skies are visible from there, but you can't access the area from nowhere really, and it's quite dangerous because there is lots of gas, it's not as friendly eruption as the previous volcanic eruptions that uh, we had um, in Fagaradal's Fagar there is a lot of uh, gas pollution, so it's also dangerous to go there. And what I don't recommend you to venture on your own to access the area. Um, just follow the instructions uh, from the police and stay in the safe zone. We will watch it live from the live cameras. And once conditions allow, when they allow people to access the area, we will of course visit it. But for now, in a way, it's, it's a good thing because finally it's erupted. We don't have those earthquakes again. If lava will bypass the city of Grindavik, it will be a good thing. But yeah, the eastern parts of Grindavik are of course exposed. You can see the old lava flows where they went. Very likely the lava will follow them. You see this greenish uh, thing. It's the old lava was spilling over. It's, that's where it went. So very likely that we will follow the same pathways as in the old days. And depending on the amount of lava, we might travel even further than the old flows. Also the Grindavik road is very much exposed. But there is a wall, they have built a wall, I don't know how, if we will make any good this wall, if it will save the, the power plant from the eruption, but it's... The eruption took place somewhere close to the wall, which is somewhere here, just in front of the volcano erupting right now. So that's where it's happening, seven kilometers away from Grindavik. Blue Lagoon is here, Blau Alone is kind of in better location. Blue Lagoon is better, it's pretty far, but well, well, also like seven kilometers. But you have here the mountains, you see. Uh, Silinga Fat and Thorbjörns, which and there are two small hills here, which are kind of protecting power plant. It's more danger towards the sea, towards Grindavik, eastern parts of Grindavik, are the most exposed.
all the best. So uh, now we have a better idea on where the lava will be going. I can show you exactly. Volcano is erupting right here, north of Hagafatl Mountain, not to the south of Hagafatl, but north of Hagafatl Mountain. And the best viewing point is Silangafatl, here to the north um, west. So this, those old uh, craters, Sunta, Nuka, Gigar craters, the southern part of them, that's where we have the volcanic eruption, right here to the north west, uh, northeast of Hagafatl Mountain, uh, the northern part, northern slopes of the mountain. That's where we have the volcano erupting. And where the lava will go, it will follow this old flow, you see, the old lava that was going towards the ocean here, and will probably destroy the road, uh, uh, but will take some time. You see, it will take some time before lava will reach. Probably some days. You see, it took uh, really uh, many months for the lava to flood here in Fagradas Fatl, and not high valley. You know, it took half a year for the lava to reach this distance. But there we had deep valleys all around. You know, this was. Huge valley here, very deep valley, some 80 meters layer of lava which could come into this bust up valley, Maradalir. But here we have a flatland, so this um, lava will travel pretty far here, but it can also go to the other side but of the mountain. It can also go towards the Grindavik by the other side of the mountain of Hagafat uh, here. There is some mine here, as you see. Let's zoom in. Uh, which uh, had been used, uh, well, they still probably use it to extract volcanic rocks, but the volcano is erupting right here, uh, north of Hagafat Mountain, and uh, yeah, there is some elevation here to the west, you see, but lava can spill over towards the plant. There is a passage here, you see, it went down. Uh, in the old days, it went down on the road and spilled it down uh, towards the road. That's the same scenario can happen now. Now we can go this way by the old, you see the green thing, by the old uh, flows towards the plan. Well, I think Blue Lagoon uh, is rather safe, but I don't know how much magma is coming there, but plant is kind of exposed. But I know there is some wall, they built here some wall. I don't know if this wall holds or how much magma is coming. That's another question. But you see lava, it's a kind of a platform here. You see lava was spilling here to the west two times from this platform. And uh, it can very likely go to the west if it managed to break the wall. But it can also most likely it will go here to the south because towards the ocean this way. And it will uh, destroy probably this road here and those eastern parts of Grindavik looks to be the most exposed, at least by judging the old lava flows. You can see where the lava was going in the old days. That's that will follow the same pathway where it's the most shallow. You know, see it will might go here. Of course it might go also here to the to the west, but there is more elevation the more you go up to the north. Uh, the, the higher the elevation it gets, so it's happened on the southern slope of Reykjanes Peninsula. So we will be going south, definitely towards green, the eastern parts of Grindavik. This is the most likely direction of the lava flow, but it can also go towards the plant spill over here. Right now it's flooding this territory here north of the mountain all around here. And I suspect it will break down to the road pretty soon if it's, it's so much magma is coming that I don't I don't think this fans that they made here will do any good uh, sooner or later probably it will get destroyed you saw how much magma was there it's insane amounts of magma coming on the first day 80 cubic meters per second I suspect similar like little router or more maybe 100 I don't know 150 cubic meters per second the first day is the most powerful but it's well visible from Silungafatl, and you can always watch it from the top of this uh, mountain, from the live cam, I mean. But Grindavik Road is closed, also the airport highway is closed. You can't access it, like, you can't even drive this road here 
you can drive anywhere all this area like all is closed you know now as you see all the roads towards Grindavik had been closed there is no way to film this eruption even if I would like to do so um, the best pictures the best videos are from the live camps of course there is no way for me to access it even if I would like to do so I can't uh, because it's a uh, it's pretty in, in a inaccessible area. Um, if I would be in water, perhaps I could see it better or couple of weeks, but not where I am. I can't from Reykjavik is not possible or from the south from Thorlaxa not possible to access the area. It's closed all over and you can't even use drones there, it's prohibited. But I'm sure where many people will sneak through uh, but it's a dangerous eruption, there's lots of gases coming out, so you can't access it from any way, you know, all the roads are closed. People who live in Catholic, they can't even drive to Reykjavik, you see, the road is already closed here in Uh You see, it's just at the aluminium plant here, the road had been closed altogether, so there's no way to access it. Uh, at least by legal means, it's all closed. 